Hey guys, a very warm welcome back to what is another Sunship episode with myself, Video Edge. We're going to be bringing you another design today, guys. It's going to be all about steel. Now, I know we've covered steel in the past, but that was previously for a basic building, not a micro factory. We've had a few requests to some people that are trying to incorporate into their micro factory. They want a better design, so we've had a little play around and we've come up with what we think is a really good micro factory steel design that produces all the steel items. So let's go into our sandbox building and show you exactly what we're talking about. So the very first thing we're gonna need in this design is our synthesizers. I'm gonna place these down in these following positions like so. Now the main bottleneck when you're producing steel items is the mixers. They just don't produce enough material quick enough for us to get high yields of these items. So we're gonna place our mixers down. We're gonna place four down directly below the synthesizers. like so, but we're also gonna place another two down here at the bottom, and this is purely trying to maximize the amount of steel we can create with all these mixers with the five synthesizers that were allowed. So we've got all our mixers down. The next thing we're gonna do is put our splitters down under each of these synthesizers so we've got enough connection points to each mixer. We're then gonna to start to connect these up, not forgetting to heat our raw material before they get to the mixers, otherwise they're not gonna work. Now you want your second and fourth synthesizer to be carbon, your other three are gonna be left as iron, and that's purely for the fact that the mixers need two parts iron, one part carbon, to be able to produce the steel, so we need more iron. Now you might notice we've missed two sections of the splitters, and that purely for the reason we're gonna place underground belts down here, bring them down to the bottom, and then heat them before they enter the mixer. Now in order to get both carbon and iron down into the mixer, we're also gonna to need to put another set of underground belts. We're also gonna pinch a bit of this supply line here on each side and again, underground belt these down to the bottom. No need to use fast grubbers on these guys. We don't wanna be taking too much of the supply, just enough so that it doesn't affect the overall output. So just regular grabbers here. So now we've got all our underground belts and supply lines in place, we can start crafting the materials. So we're gonna start from left to right here and we're gonna kick things off with a bit of steel pipe production, which means we're gonna to need to utilize a press, a grabber into the mechanical assembler, a grabber to take the finished steel pipe out and an exporter for us to get those into our transit. Moving on to our next mixer now. Again, gonna need some steel plates. So we're gonna put a press down, but this time we're gonna split them off here. We're gonna be producing both steel chains and steel barrels from this one. So in order to do the steel chain element, we're gonna firstly make the steel plates into rods, heat them up, and then exactly the same process, grabber into the mechanical assembler, selecting steel chains before exporting again. A lot simpler for the steel barrels. All we need to put down on this side is a shaper, select the recipe, and export. And now if we have a quick check on those first few items we've made, we can see we're already starting to produce these steel items, and we've got a lot of space left to play with. Next up, on this third line, we're going to be producing both steel rods and steel wires. So again, same process, press down into a splitter. Both of these nice and simple. We're just going to be placing a cutter into a heater, then an extruder and an exporter for our wires. And for the rods, it's just simply the cutter and the exporter. Now for this fourth line, we're going to be producing another set of steel chains and steel gears. So as we have been doing previously, we're going to put another press down. We're going to leave a slight space before splitting this time. And to make the steel gears, just like we've done for the steel barrels, it's simply a shaper, select your recipe and export. And we already know the process for the steel chains. Again, we're just going to build the rods, heat them up and use our grabbers into the mechanical assembler before exporting. So that's our outputs from our first four mixers. Now we've still got two mixers at the bottom to play with. And here we're gonna be utilizing the limited space to make the most simplest of the steel items. So for this one on the left-hand side, we're gonna split them off before exporting the raw steel on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we're gonna put a press down and export some steel plates. And for this one on the right-hand side, we're gonna just add to the steel plate production to have a nice supply of that. No need to split on this one. 
and that will form the basis of our design here. We're going to give this a whirl to see what the final outputs are. As you can see here, we're making a decent amount of all steel items. As we've said, this fits entirely in your level 5 micro factory and you can leave this idle. It doesn't use much substance, it hardly uses any fast tech, but it's a really good design if you're struggling to make your steel. And what this does, it condenses the original steel design into this micro factory, avoids the need for that basic factory which takes up a lot more space and you can utilise that with a few more factories or substance harvesters if you need to. So if we do have a quick check on the blueprint on this one, you can see here that there isn't much to it really, apart from those gears which are the more complex, purely down to the fast grabbers we've got there. But other than that, it's not a massive amount at all. So we're going to save this now and export it into our micro factory to start producing that steel. So here we are guys, let's chuck it into our micro factory. So we place this down and there's one thing to be aware of which does happen sometimes when you place down blueprints with underground belts and underground pipes. The actual underground belts can become disconnected to the belts that you provided them on. So in order to avoid this, we may just have to remove these underground belts and connect them back up again to these belts like so. Other than that, you should be ready to rock and roll. Turn it on and we can see all those steel items are beginning to fill up in our transit at a pretty good rate and you can just leave this to do its business and you can collect them every time you come back online. So that's it guys, for those that were looking for a micro steel build, we hope this one helps you out. It's certainly something that we'll be keeping on our Sunship to generate these materials in the future. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and until next time, bye bye.